Have you ever done a print and cut and you wanted everything printed but you only wanted the border cut but when you put it in your Cricut it cuts out each letter or each image separately and you have to stop and start all over again? Well, if that's happened to you in this video, I'm going to talk about how to overcome that. Good day, good people, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the SVG Toots YouTube channel. I am Phaedra Dion, owner and lead educator here at SVG Toots. So, I am in Cricut Design Space, and I'm in a new project, and what I want to do is I want to go over to text, and I am going to type B, enter, the interchange and I will bring it over and go to fonts and I'm looking for a font that I got from Creative Fabrica called City Tour and it has different versions but I want this the City Tour graffiti I like that so I'm gonna close this and this is going to be the words for this file I'm actually going to be making a sticker for my newest site called stickerhaul.com and this is going to be the base of the sticker what I want to put on either side of these words uh, are butterflies so I'm gonna to go to images and I'm gonna put in butterfly and I'm going to sort by free because I am using the free version of Cricut Design Space and I'm looking for this set of four butterflies and I'll bookmark it because I might want to use it later and I'll click it to load it up and then I'll add it to my canvas now I don't want all four butterflies I only want two of these so it's in a group I'm going to ungroup it and click away and then I'm going to delete the two butterflies that I don't want so I'm not going to keep those two if you're following along and you want to keep all four or you want to keep different ones that's absolutely fine remember this is your SVG cut file you are making it to your liking not to mine okay so then I want to put a butterfly on each side and I want to turn them a little bit so I'm getting my broken arrow and I'm just turning them and then what I want to do is make them smaller so I will make them a little smaller because I want them to be on both sides of B and the but I don't want them to be too far out so that looks good to me so what I want to do now is I want to put an offset around each of these so I'm gonna go up here to offset and 2.5 is more than I want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little button here this is the slider and then I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm going to use the left pointing arrow to go down in increments until my offset is where I want it to be. And that's about the size that I want right there. And as you can see here, it is 0 0.056 inches. I'm going to click apply. And now I can see my offset. I'm going to do the same thing with the offset on the other butterfly. I'll click it and I'll go to offset and it's going to keep the last measurement that I had and I'll apply that. I want to change my offsets to blue so I'm going to go here and change both offsets to blue. Now if I click on this I'm actually clicking on the butterfly itself. It's the offset that I want to turn blue. So I'm going to come over here to my uh, layers panel, click on offset and then turn it blue and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this butterfly with its offset and group them and then I'm gonna select this butterfly with its offset 
and group them and now I can deal with them together so I'm gonna double click on group and type right butterfly I'm gonna double click on group here and type left butterfly now what I want to do is I want to change the color of be the change so I'm gonna go up here and change it to green and the next thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that all of these layers as you can see if you look over here under operation it's saying basic cut but I don't want them to be a basic cut I want them to be print then cut so I'm gonna come down to print then cut and notice that all of those black borders they are gone now so the butterfly and its offset are all print then cut okay now what I want is an offset behind all this because it's going to be a sticker and I don't want these to print individually so I'll highlight all of it and I'll just group it all together so I have groups within groups which is fine and I'll name this group design and I'll make my offset so I'm gonna go up here to offset and I'm actually gonna move this over so you can see this better go up to offset and I want an offset around everything one offset around everything so I am going to click on the slider button and start moving my offset to the right with the right pointing arrow key until I get an offset around everything now notice I'm there but I have these little artifacts that I don't want so I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger and I need to get rid of this one and I need to get rid of this one because I don't want it to cut I want it to be a solid offset when it cuts so I'll click apply and then what I'll do is I will move the offset away from the design and I will go up to operations and I'll choose basic cut and then once I choose basic cut my contour button will be active if I don't choose basic cut if I keep it as print and cut then my contour will be grayed out so then I'm gonna click on contour and I'm gonna tell it to hide those little pieces so that this becomes one solid outline and then what I'll do is I'll hold down shift and I'll click my design and go to align and I will center these and I'll click on just offset and I will change it to white and now what I need to do is my offset needs to be a basic cut that is what needs to happen this other stuff needs to print but it doesn't need to be cut it just needs to print and then I need to be able to make this all one thing so in order to accomplish that what I'm gonna do now is I'll select everything and I'll group everything the design and the offset so this is gonna be everything and now that I have it all together I'm gonna come down here and flatten flatten is the key to making sure that when you cut after you print that you don't end up with each image being cut separately and each letter being cut separately so when I go to make it I can't really tell if it's gonna do what it says it's gonna do because it's just saying print and cut here but the way that you know that it's actually going to print then cut correctly is that none of your design has those black borders anymore so I'm gonna go back over to image and I'll pull in butterflies again now notice these butterflies have these thin borders around them that 
let you know it's going to be a basic cut. If you go to print and cut, those black borders go away. And that lets you know that these are going to be printed. So if you still have a black border around anything, your offset, your letters, any of that, then it's going to cut separately when you do the cut part of the print and cut. Yeah, that's that's it. That's how you make sure that you get what you're going for. Make sure to flatten. If you need help, leave me a comment. If you have questions, leave me a comment. If you have comments, leave me a comment. And thank you for watching.